Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Cloud9 Spain and Cloud9 Prestige. My name is Sean Woolley. With me I have Miguel Manzanares from uh, Manzanares Abogados here in Marbella, one of the very best law firms here on the Costa del Sol. Miguel has very kindly joined us today to explain about the recent changes to inheritance tax legislation. Um, there have been a number of changes over the last few years and one in particular um, only last month. Uh, which is due to come into effect that is very important for anyone looking to buy property here on the Costa del Sol. So, Miguel, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. What's been going on then? Well, we've all been enjoying Christmas and New Year. Uh, we're now uh, at the start of 2019. Uh, what's the latest news on inheritance tax? Well, uh, uh, many changes and uh, all of them good changes actually because the in in south of Spain, where in Andalusia, that is we can say is the kind of a state of the south of Spain. It represents almost a third of the Spanish territory. Mm -hmm. We were always uh, uh, complaining about having a high taxation about inheritance tax. Yeah. That high taxation has been improving with the pass of the time. On 1st of January 2018, 2018, we had by first time an important uh, tax benefit so that for a spouse and uh, children and eventually grandchildren each one of them could inherit up to one million euro free of taxes which was pretty that, good wasn't it compared to what that it used was to be, yeah. a massive improvement yeah. of the taxation that we used to face mm -hmm. in andalusia mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have had recently elections by the month on the month of december we had elections in which there were two parties that we, that were in favor of eliminating, almost eliminating as much as possible, this inheritance tax. Uh, the result of elections is that uh, they both those, those both parties have uh, made a coalition, and in that coalition they are uh, in the government now. And uh, one of the first things that they decided was having a meeting to uh, pretty much almost eliminating the inheritance tax. Right. And, uh, and I say almost and not completely because there is a 99% exemption. That means that from your total wealth, 99% mm -hmm. is free of taxes and only 1% is subject to uh, taxes. So uh, only from that 1% you apply the corresponding tax rates, right? So that, that makes that really, unless you have a huge uh, wealth, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much what you pay is very, very little. Uh, and is this a regional decision or a national decision? Is it, is it regional because every, every region is autonomous, isn't it, here in Spain? Exactly. Okay. We have in Spain 17 different autonomias, which mm -hmm. is really autonomous. Uh, uh, this is really equivalent of an estate because the level of uh, of rights and uh, an autonomy of those regions of those is more or less equivalent to a state mm -hmm. in any uh, in any in any country. So this is only in Andalusia. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the seventeen, but it's uh, one of the largest of in course. respect of territory and also in respect of population. Okay. That represents a, around thirty-two percent of the Spanish territory, with a population of around. Nine million uh, uh, people. Fast, so, uh, so therefore, it's been uh, a law that says ninety-nine percent of your wealth is tax-free. One percent of your wealth is subject to application of corresponding taxes. Okay. And from that one percent, you apply the progressive uh, sliding scale yeah. that goes from 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 very little to thirty-six percent. But the thing is, the the portion of the assets that are uh, subject of taxes mm. is very little, it's only 1%, so it's Fantastic. almost free of taxes. And why have they done this? Is it public pressure or just...? Yeah, it's been a public pressure. Uh, well, basically it's been considered uh, by many people in Spain a kind of unfair uh, taxation mm. because the uh, we are all paying taxes when we are making incomes. Mm. So that's, you pay your taxes. In Spain as well, when you have a certain uh, wealth, you still pay uh, taxes every year about your wealth. Yeah. And then when you die, you have to pay again, or your your uh, heirs will have to pay again taxes about something that your parents or your grandparents have eventually paid a lot. Yeah. When they made the money and when they keep that wealth, uh, yeah. and then again you have to pay. So that was considered by many people in Spain a very unfair taxation. Mm -hmm. In fact, many other regions of Spain other kind of like Madrid, Asturias, many other regions, 
they have had that system, this very same system, for many years already. And this was making as well a, a kind of a movement in respect of what you, you pay taxes, uh, depending on where you live in Spain, you pay very much mm. or you pay almost nothing. So under the sea, if you live in under the sea, you're always penalized if you have assets in, in, in this, uh, this uh, part of the world. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So and now that's, that's been eliminated. Almost. That's been eliminated, yeah. almost uh, eliminated. What you pay is very little, so okay. in the very most of the cases with some hundreds or even less than 100 euro, you pay your taxes, yeah. So, which is pretty much saying nothing. And, uh, and, uh, and therefore, we have gone to the uh, most uh, uh, effective uh, mm -hmm. taxation system that we could uh, dream of. That's fantastic news. So I guess now there's there's no need for all these shady offshore companies and, and different complex structures to buy properties. You buy it as you are. There is no need. There is no need. Actually, th there was a time in which uh, you had to consider the best legal structure where you have to base your ownership mm -hmm. of, of your properties. Uh, but they, this, it, this was based mainly because the inheritance tax mm -hmm. they was so hard, so, yeah. so heavy. And, uh, but now, uh, considering this, you have uh, no reason to set up any offshore corporation, mm -hmm. any Spanish company, because you can own the properties in your personal name. And, uh, and then you leave your assets to your uh, family members uh, free of taxes. Fantastic. So therefore, you don't have to form a company, which mm -hmm. is costing money. Mm -hmm. You don't have to keep that company uh, with uh, bookkeepers and accountants and tax advisors because those companies don't have to exist, don't have to be set up. Uh, so you keep the property in your personal name with uh, a will, it's recommendable always to leave a Spanish will in place. Yeah. This yeah. will facilitate all the process of probate and, and inheritance. Yeah. And uh, But that's everything you've got to do. Uh, uh, making a will in Spain is also very inexpensive mm -hmm. for the cost of 200 euros. You have the will that includes the notary and uh, lawyer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you own the properties in your personal name with Spanish will in place. And relax. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Miguel, thank you so much. You've been an absolute gentleman as, uh, as always. We're going to put the website address for Miguel's company at the bottom of the screen um, so that if you want to contact Miguel and have a chat with him about this or any other subject, if you're thinking about buying a property here or are going through the process and need a good lawyer, this is your man. Um, thanks again for listening and for watching, and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much.